Hello and welcome to Tenses Explained. Today we are going to have a look at the tense we all use almost every day when we tell a story or talk about our holidays. For those kinds of things we need the past tense. As with the present tense, the past tense can be divided into two basic forms. The past tense simple and the past tense progressive. Let's have a look at the simple form first. We use the past simple to talk about short or long actions in the past that are finished and are therefore not connected to the present or the future. It can also be used for events that happened on a regular basis in the past. Now let's see how the past tense simple is used. Hey Daniel! Hey Oliver, how are you? What did you do in the winter holidays? Oh, nothing special. I usually ate a lot of food. I sometimes played games with my friends and relaxed. What about you? Really, that sounds great. I went skiing and stayed in a hotel. I also bought a new pair of ice skates. Cool, how much did they cost? They were expensive, I paid 200 euros. Wow, that holiday cost a lot of money. Yes, but it was worth it. In this short dialogue, Daniel said, stayed in a hotel and we know that the action is over. We can also see that some things happened more often in the past and maybe on a regular basis when Oliver said, I sometimes played games. The past tense is often used in combination with Finnish time expressions, such as yesterday. In the following dialogue, carefully listen to the time expressions. How did you spend the last weekend of the summer holidays? Last Friday I went shopping and ate at a restaurant. That was great. On Saturday morning I had breakfast with my friends and after that I had to study for school. But yesterday I did nothing. How did you spend your weekend? My weekend was also interesting. As you know, when I was very young, we went almost every weekend to Italy. But it stopped when I started school. Finally we got to do it again last weekend. It was great. As you can see, time expressions such as last weekend or even when I was very young can help us to find out that we should use the past tense because they indicate past time. But there is also a second form, the past tense progressive. It has some similarities to the present progressive and is used to talk about something that was going on or was in progress at a particular point in the past. Let's see how this works in a real life situation. Hey Paul, did you see the Formula One race yesterday? No, these races always take so long. I was washing my clothes, ironing them, cooking dinner for my family and then I was even doing the washing up and getting ready for the school again. Was it interesting? Wow, that's a busy day. Yes, it was very interesting. They were fighting for the lead until the end. So I was doing something boring instead. Looks like it. But you have to watch the next one. I will. In this situation, all of the students use the past progressive to talk about events that were going on at a particular time. The progressive form can also be used in combination with another event. In this case, the past simple is used to describe the shorter action and the past progressive to describe the longer action. Now we are going to see how these two forms can be used together. Amy, please help me. Where are you listening when Harry told us about the ticket prices for the Formula One race? I want to buy tickets for next year. Sir Max, I'm afraid. I can't help you. When you talked about the prices, I was playing a game on my phone. Because I'm not interested in Formula 1. Oh no, I was reading in my comic book when you talked about the prices. Let's ask the others. Yes, a good idea. I hope they were listening. I hope so too. Let's go. Here, the students were talking about several past events that happened around the time of speaking. However, as we can see in the sentence when he talked, I was playing a game on my phone. Playing on the phone takes longer, so the past progressive is used. And to talk about the ticket prices does not take that long, so the past simple is used. As you can see, depending on the form of the past tense that is used, there can be a substantial change in meaning. 